Well, the first thing that we would do is actually offer the largest tax relief in Alberta history. Right now in Alberta, we have a lack of confidence in what's happening. Uh, if people aren't hiring, businesses aren't reinvesting here in this province. And I've seen this in my professional career as well. We've got companies here in Alberta that are comparable to a company in Saskatchewan or south of the border. And investors would rather invest in companies in different jurisdictions. So we need to send a clear signal immediately that Alberta is back in business. We want you to invest in Alberta. So we're proposing the largest tax relief in Alberta history. That involves repealing the NDP carbon tax, lowering our corporate and small business taxes, as well as lowering personal income taxes. We used to have a flat tax of 10% in Alberta. What we're proposing is for people making less than $100,000, 9%, people making more than $100,000, 10%. This is going to reestablish Alberta as the most competitive tax jurisdiction in Canada. And that's the right signal that we need to send to the market to get people confident again in what's happening in this province. Really, I see that first term of government as reestablishing Alberta's credibility and getting this place working again. Well, right now in Alberta, we have a spending problem. We're spending about $2,700 more per person than British Columbia. And as a result, our spending is just a complete outlier in Canada where we're not getting the outcomes for the amount of money that we're spending. Also, a lot of our collective agreements were negotiated at a time when we had $100 oil, and they're no longer reflective of our current environment here in Alberta. So what we're proposing to do is actually to have a flat budget for four years. So the same budget each year for, for four years. When we do that and offer the largest tax relief in Alberta history, as our economy grows and revenues continue to go up in this province, and they will, we're going to be able to balance our operating budget in that first term, which is important for reestablishing our credibility. That whole first term of government is a matter of reestablishing Alberta as the place to come and work and invest, and we can offer that largest tax relief and balance our budget in that first term if we're disciplined on our spending. I know that the NDP are contemplating making some changes. The biggest thing for me is making sure we send a clear signal that we're not going to be outing gay kids, uh, that we're supportive of gay straight alliances. Because right now in today's politics, it's minute by minute on establishing your values. And young Albertans, you know, millennials are going to make up the biggest voting block in the next election campaign. We branded our campaign the new blue because we think conservatism in this province needs a fresh start. And if we're going to reach those young voters, we're going to have to make sure that we establish our values and establish them clearly. And whether or not that's from you know, gay straight alliances and making sure we're not going to out gay kids to advocating for women's issues as well. We have one of the highest domestic violence rates in the country here. And we have to make sure that conservatives are offering solutions on these issues. Well, I think the biggest thing that we have to address is health care in Alberta. It's the one that people really want us to lead on and we're simply not getting outcomes right now. So we need to get inventive as to how we're delivering these services. You know, perfect example of that is hip and knee surgeries. Not all of them need to be delivered in a big hospital. There's lots of third parties out there that'll deliver these services. They'll set up the infrastructure. They're better, faster, cheaper of delivering this, and we can allow them to specialize. Whether it's hip and knee surgeries or breast cancer, we can get this done in Alberta and get that social entrepreneurship going in our province. That's how we're gonna balance our budget. That's how we're gonna get better outcomes for Albertans. I think the biggest thing that our campaigns put forward is the ability to have a fresh start. Uh, I mean, I'm new to the elected side of politics. I've been in behind the scenes uh, for over 15 years, uh, involved in different campaigns. But just seeing the trends, I, I'm 38 years old, I'm the youngest person in this race by over a decade. Uh, being experienced and having a big track record in politics doesn't always translate into winning. Uh, and winning election campaigns. It's a matter of connecting the voters. And that's what our campaign's been doing. We've brought a whole bunch of people into the new United Conservative Party that haven't necessarily been historic conservatives, but they're fiscal conservatives. Sometimes they've been hesitant, though, to get involved in conservative politics because they're worried about it potentially being seen as homophobic or not inclusive. And we really need to make sure we set that right agenda and have that fresh start. That's why we branded our campaign the New Blue, because we want to make sure that this new party is successful in the long term, and that's being socially moderate and fiscally conservative. 